lecture, I am going to discuss what how to connect MySQL database with IICS. So here you can see using Informatica Administrator and currently on Runtime Environment tab. Then you can see this place, all the services are currently running. So Informatica Cloud and Laptop this. So this uh, here, uh, Secure Agent must be run. Now after that, the next is let's go on this connection. So in last video there I discussed about how to create the Oracle connection. So you can watch. So let's uh, click on this new connection. So this lecture about how to connect my SQL database with ISCS. So here connection name let's keep my SQL underscore con. Then after here description. So this is optional. If you want then you can write. So writing there creating my SQL database connection and type we need to select so here let's select mysql then you need to fill this all detail so here runtime environment let's select or uh, laptop and username password or uh, we need to know that so for this one going to use mysql workbench my SQL workbench going to use. So there you can see the username that is root and password here host that is local host port number 3306 and database we need to find that. So let's click on this here give the password press enter then you can see our database is now secure sys and world is there. So let's fill this auditor. So username giving root. Let's give here password and give host that is localhost. Localhost giving because local system that I'm using. And here database give here Sekila. So here on this MySQL workbench here you can see Sekila database. Sekila because there I there it has so many tables or there so that using the secure and uh, if I use this Latin UTF-8 and if I try to test the connection so testing the connection if you fill this all detail then here you can see the test for this connection was successful if this work then okay if this not work then you can change with the MS Microsoft window so let's click on this test connection then here you can see the test connection was successful so when the test connection successful then you need to click on this save so connection or saved and uh, here let's go on this connection tab then you can see new connection that's created my SQL com and this is localhost this is port number and database using secure if you want then you can uh, do some editing let's click on this edit so here you can change uh, according to your requirement so there let's do a here change it my sql data base underscore com so this should be meaningful if you want then you can edit all this and after that let's click on this save okay so this that has saved there if I go on this connection, then you can see MySQL database connection that's created. And this is for make a copy. If you want to make the copy of this or duplicate, want to duplicate, then you can click there. This is the uh, second is for dependencies. And here, this is for delete. And this here for changing the permission. So other uh, properties I will discuss uh, later. So this is the fifth lecture is there. So fifth lecture. I discuss how to do the connection of MySQL database with ISCS. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next week. Thank you.